Hey guys, today I wanted to chat a bit about what I pack in my carry-on. I believe that having a well-organized and prepared carry-on can really make a difference in your flight. So first off, I think one of the most important things is to have a bag that you really like. Um, this was just a cheap bag, but I really like the size of it. It actually fits a laptop if I want to bring a laptop, which I don't always, but that was a factor for me. I like that it has the two straps, but it also has the over-the-shoulder strap. Over-the-shoulder strap was like a huge thing that I wanted, just because when you're walking a lot in airports, sometimes that's so necessary. So I recommend finding a bag that you really like. Another thing that I needed in a bag was um, a zipper closure. I didn't want to rely on buttons or snaps and just risking someone stealing anything out of my bag. So that was something that I looked for in a bag. I also really like this bag because it has this extra compartment that snaps right into it and I can fill this up with snacks or something else and it has its own zipper and it just helps me stay organized. So the first thing that I always, always bring is a reusable water bottle. So you can't have this filled up when you go through security, so make sure that you either drink it. I usually try to drink a whole water bottle before I go through security, and that way I'm super hydrated. I still have time to go pee before boarding my, boarding my flight, and then I have an empty water bottle. So once I get through security, I always find a water fountain and fill this up. In North America, that is never ever an issue. Every airport has either fountains or somewhere that you can fill it up. In Europe, I found this to be much harder. It's very hard to find a water fountain. The next thing I love to bring that I actually don't have to show you because I can't find mine and I really need to buy a new one is an eye mask. So if you have an overnight flight or if you just really need to get a couple hours of sleep, and this helps me a ton because I get really distracted by people walking up and down the aisles, the lights turning on and off, the sunset, the person beside me, and then I am constantly opening my eyes and looking at what's going on around me. So having an eye mask covering my eyes just forces me to sleep. I also like to bring earplugs just to have in case, especially on a long flight, you just never know. There could be like three babies screaming in the back all night long, and if you really want to get sleep, earplugs will really make a difference. The next thing I recommend is a pair of warm socks. I'm always freezing on airplanes and I like to travel in sandals just because I'm more comfortable. Obviously in the winter I don't do that, but I like to just have a pair of socks just in case I'm freezing and it just really helps me be cozy. The next thing is baby wipes. So this seems like a super extra tip, I'm totally aware, but I actually like to wipe down my tray and my armrests and everything. If you do like a quick Google search about bacteria and diseases that live in airplanes, it's really, really disgusting. I've actually wiped down trays that looked totally fine and my wipe was completely black. It's so gross. So I always just take a wipe and quick, quickly wipe everything down. People give me weird looks and I just don't really care because I've gotten sick on so many trips in the past that I'm just not really willing to risk it. I actually usually wouldn't take a whole big bag like this. I would just take maybe three or four out and put them in a little Ziploc bag and just take that instead. I always love to have some sort of sweater or scarf. This is a blanket scarf. This is awesome. Um, so you can use it as a shawl or a blanket. Again, I'm always freezing on flights and it just really helps. Sometimes I'll even use it as a pillow. I'm not really a fan of the neck pillows. Um, I've never found one that I love, but this does sometimes help. I'll put it up against like the window if I have a window seat. And I just love having an option so that I'm not freezing. The next thing, especially for really long flights, is some snacks. So I just have like some granola bars and trail mix here. I'm really not a fan of airplane food. I don't really like the pretzels and cookies that they give you, and it's nice to have some healthier options, so. Another kind of optional thing is this little phone charger. If I have a long flight, then it's nice to be able to charge your phone. Some airplanes have plugins for your phone. I would obviously also bring the cord for my phone um, with this. And then another thing that kind of is in the same category is just headphones, which I feel like is a super obvious thing, but I never ever fly without headphones. One of my favorite things to travel with is essential oils. So I have this little case that holds my oils and it's also my wallet. So I have really limited cards in here, especially if I'm traveling, just like my debit card, a piece of ID, maybe my Visa card. So I would always have something for headaches, something for upset stomach and maybe nausea. 
I also have a blend that I love just for perfume that I can roll on throughout the flight. I have my immunity blend and an allergy blend because I tend to get like stuffed up or like a runny nose in airplanes. And then just some sort of little case to hold all of those is really helpful. And then I also like to have some sort of gum or mints and a hand sanitizer. This one's a spray. If you don't want to bring wipes, you could even just spray your hand sanitizer on your armrest and your seat tray, and then just wipe that up with like a Kleenex or a napkin or something. And then another thing that is a good tip is find out what your airline has for entertainment. If they have a little TV in front of you, some airlines actually have an app that you can download and if you have that app then you can watch like tons of different movies and TV shows and stuff. I'm not good at reading on flights, I just get too distracted, I just have a hard time with it. If you're good at reading on flights then you can bring a book or a magazine or something. Sometimes I will download a few games on my phone. I don't usually really like phone games but when I'm flying sometimes I just need something mindless to do on my phone. Otherwise I'll also download some podcasts or audiobooks or like some Netflix shows to watch just so that you have something to do. If it's like a one or two hour flight I'm not super worried about it but there's nothing worse than sitting on a plane for like six hours just bored out of your mind. So just look into what options your airline has for entertainment. And then my last tip is just make sure that everything that you want during the flight is in the bag that you're putting under your seat. Sometimes I'll pack a suitcase that goes in the overhead bin and that's everything I'm going to need for the trip, like clothes and shoes and toiletries and stuff, but that's not necessarily for the flight. So anything that I'm going to need during the flight, make sure you put that in the carry-on that's going to be under your seat. There's nothing worse than having to get up and like go open up the overhead bin that's like right beside someone that's sleeping and then you like drop something on them. Guys, I've done it and I've had it done to me. It's the worst. So just make sure everything is easily accessible and you don't need to stand up and get any of it. So I hope that helped you guys. I know that packing for a trip can sometimes be stressful, but it truly does make you enjoy the trip more if you're organized and prepared and have everything you need on hand. So if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.